everyone welcome back to each and Bella crafts i hope you're all well thanks for joining me today for this video um this afternoon i'm going to be showing you how to make a envelope tuck spot ah, i don't know what we're going to call it but i'm going to call it that for now so basically i've um made this little envelope this afternoon with multiple tuck spots um and it was inspired by uh, hilda she's one of our uh, design team members she recently made um, a journal for the Summer Bloom kit, which was absolutely gorgeous. And as I was watching the video, I noticed that she had these cute little envelopes in there. So I thought, oh my goodness, that is so cute. I'm going to give that a go. So this afternoon, I sat down and had a little go and I thought, I know, I'm going to share it with you guys. So basically, we've got a little envelope here. Which you can either fix in with your um, with a paper clip or... You can not put a closure on it, you can hook it over the top of a page, or you can even put it in a pocket. Um, and then when you open it up, it folds down, and you've got um, a little pocket in here, or a little tuck spot, should I say, in here. And then you've got one here. There we go. And then you've got one in here but not only that then on the back we've got another one here so I've managed to make this this afternoon using one sheet of A4 paper just one just literally one page and um, with that sheet of A4 paper I not only managed to make the envelope with three pockets sorry four pockets in um, but I also had enough paper left over to make a little tag to go in the pocket and also to make two clusters to go on the page. So I'm going to show you now how to do it because it's super easy um, and uh, I'm sure you'll all pick it up in no time. So let me get this out of the way a second. Okay, so as I said, one sheet of paper. Um, the only thing you just want to think about is when you are folding your paper, um, I've printed uh, this so that I've got um, some print on the uh, one side and so that it is blank on the other side. It's entirely up to you which way you do your folds. Um, and you can, you know, after, even after you fold it, you can always change your mind and turn it around the other way. But um, just think about whether you want it up that way or up that way. So once we start folding, it, it'll be more clear. But uh, so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take one side across. And I'm not measuring anything. I'm literally just eyeballing this because it really doesn't matter. Because this fold here is what forms one of your tucks. So just think depth of tuck, you know. And then we're going to just turn this around the other side. And we're going to do the same on this side. So I'm going to do this one to be just slightly smaller. So as I say, they don't have to be the same size. We're literally just looking for two folds. Um, they are in no way central or anything they're just two folds that they come in uh in, into the um towards the center of the page i'm now going to take my page up and fold it in half so at this point it might be a good idea to just do this because you find when we've got lots of extra folds and flaps it gets it starts to get a bit bulky doesn't it so i'm just going to take it up and fold it in half as i say i'm literally just eyeballing all of this you know, there's no right or wrong way. It's entirely up to you where you want these uh, folds to sit. Um, I'll just flatten that down a second because we're not done folding yet. Bring that back down now. Now you're going to take your bottom fold up, not quite to the top, to the to the centre fold there. Okay, so just leave a little bit of a gap, and then fold that down. Just flatten over again. So now you can see you've got your bottom bit, this bit, that bit. Now this section here at the top, this is what's going to form your um, your closure, your flap. So leave about, I'd say about, about a centimetre, yeah, leave about a centimetre gap there when you're folding down. Um, just so that it, I don't know, I, I just like it. When I've got it in an envelope, I just like that, that little fold. I just think it makes it look... Oh, nice it's pleasing to the eye and if you've got anything bulkier in there as well you're leaving a bit of room rather than it just being um 
trying to explain it. It's like if, if you've got it the, the if you, if it's up all the way down there and you're just trying to fold it flat, you're not giving the what's the pocket any room to grow. Whereas if you leave a bit of a gap at the top there, like if if it does start to spring a little bit, that's okay. You've got room. You've got space there. I hope that makes sense. Right, there we go. So so that's all of our folds done. So now we're going to open the page back out. So this is perhaps the point at which you decide, right, is this the bottom? And that's the top. Yeah, okay, that's it. I'm happy with that. Because when I open that, I'm going to see that and that. Yep, I'm happy with that. That's great. Okay, so now what we're going to do now is we're going to take, um, you should have now uh, one, two, three lines here and three fold lines across here. So we're going to leave the center as it is. And take a pair of scissors so this is the top so hold the top the envelope flap in this hand and if you're left-handed obviously do it the other way around <laughs> take your scissors and the first thing you do is cut down the first fold line towards the center so i'm going to stop there so i've literally now just so just to revisit i'm taking back this is the envelope flap so i'm just cutting now that square there and i'm going to come around and do the same on the other side so turn your paper around now and do exactly the same on the opposite. Now, the only thing I will say is, obviously, if you are doing this on pattern paper, and you're as blind as I am, sometimes it can be a bit difficult to see where your folds are, but I'm sure you'll manage. There we are. So that's those two done there. Then, guess what? We're going to do it all over again. We're going to come down now to your next fold, and we're just going to cut down to the centre line. I'm going to turn around and do the same on the other side. Don't go any further than the centre fold here. All right, so when you go down, you're always stopping at that point. Um, I don't know why I keep turning it around. Let's just do this side next. Because they've all got to be cut, basically. Okay. Am I in the right line there? Yeah, that's right. Okay, so... You should now have flaps here, flaps here, flaps here, and flaps here. So ignore those for the moment. I'm going to tuck those up there out of the way. So the next thing that you're going to do now, because you don't have to do it, you know, as I did it. So on the one that I've got there, what I've basically done is I've taken this bottom flap here, I took back. This one here on the opposite side, I took back. And then this one here, I took back. So that then left me with a tuck, a tuck, and a tuck, and then the fold. So then when I folded it up, it looked like this. Okay, just showing you the shape. So next I'm gonna do, let's take these little squares off the top because we're not gonna need these at all. So they come off, snip, snip, Left in. And then the same this side. Should have done all my cutting this side. I can see the, the fold better over here. Right, keep those because you're going to want those in a moment, okay? No waste with this project at all. No waste. So turn it back around the right way now. So before you go any further now, you're going to just trim. This is the top. This is the top tuck now. So this is your first tuck. So anything that you see, I'm just going to need that over. Anything you see that hangs over a fold, just, just trim it down and tidy it up. Because obviously these bits have got to fold in nice and neatly so this one here i can see when i fold this page it's, it's going to catch there probably because i haven't cut it terribly straight so that's fine that's not a problem we're just going to literally turn it back and then just take a little tiny slither off the edge there we go right and now there shouldn't be anything catching there now and again you can do the same at the top um because it doesn't matter if you come in that's absolutely fine. There we go. And then we're going to do the same here. So just neaten up your pocket on the other side. Literally just trim those edges. Make sure that they're nice and neat so that everything falls in place. So again, yeah, all looking good there. One, two, three. And then just check if that one needs to be tidied up. I'm just going to trim that down just a little smidge. Go. 
Okay, so what about the ones on the, the back? Well, if we go back to um, the one that I had here, oh, I don't know it. There it is. So if I show you what I did with this one, and like I say, obviously you can do these, um, do things your own way. You don't have to do it exactly like this. It's just to give you some ideas. So on this one here, that's where it's folded up there. You can see I've got, I've cut the pocket there. But what I've done, I've used my wiggly scissors, which weren't very sharp. Um, and I just scalloped it in to make a nice shape because that paper there had like a lace edge on it. So I thought it looked quite nice to just scallop that in and make a pocket. And then the fold below that, there is nothing on there because that's obviously the front. So just bear that in mind, that's going to be the front of your envelope. And then this one here, which goes on the inside, I did also leave some space. And I think I've left a tuck in the top. I have, there's a little tuck in there, but I haven't put anything in there for the time being. So, but you could, you could have, you could either stick it this side or you could stick it on the sides and have something coming in the front. Um, it's entirely up to you. So I'm going to just do the same thing with this one now. Um, so I'm going to take that off because we know we don't need that because that's the front of the envelope. So you come away because I've got plans for you in a second. There we go. Come at her, Missy. She'll sit in there panting for. Come on, come lay down. Keep going. Puppy mummy by the side of me here. Um, okay, where was I? Right. She's interrupting my flow now and I forgot what I was on about. Okay, so no, I wasn't going to do that. I was going to do these on the back. So um, I'll do the same with these now as, as I've done with the, the previous one. I'm just going to take the little pockets and I'm going to scallop up with my not very sharp scissors. <laughs> And hopefully it'll work out. And it just makes it look a bit more interesting. There we go. So that's that one. As you can see now, you've got a, a nice cute little pocket on the back. Let's wink that up. That'll look pretty cool. And then the same, we'll do the same with this one here. Oh my gosh, all these tucks and flaps and folds. So just so you've got perspective again, that's the top of the fold. It's this one here that we're going to be working on a sec. So I know it can be hard sometimes to keep pers a perspective on things from where you're looking. Um, and we're wiggling bits of paper around, especially when I turn it like that. <laughs> I don't know why, but I don't feel the same. For some reason, I can only cut in one direction. <laughs> I don't know if it's from being a right-handed thing or what. I don't know, but I like it to be a certain way. I need to get these scissors sharpened. Get my son out with the foil again. I don't know, I don't find these great to be honest and it's a shame because they really are very useful right let's just get rid of those bits okay so the next thing i'm going to do now is to just quickly um take all the corners off these little uh, pockets tuck spots whatever we're going to call them tucks they're tucks aren't they you tuck stuff in them you need sharpening my gosh right so the next step ink okay everything's inked <laughs> i think right next step now is we're going to fold up about a centimeter on the um front flap i hope that's going to do that straight now no, why is that always not to that straight
and then take your corner cutter and you're just gonna do away with those corners there okay time to glue so the first thing i'm going to do is glue the fold down at the top right there so that sits nice and neatly in place There we go, and then we're going to glue the first pocket in place. So obviously you're just going to be gluing up one side and up the other side. And then we are going to glue this pocket in place. One, two. And then finally, oop, this pocket in place. So that's the basic of the, um, so you can see here you've got tuck, here you've got tuck, and here you've got tuck. Okay, and then we turn it over we do the same thing here. Just a bit better there. So we're just going to literally put a little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. Not over, nothing over the top. There we go. And then if you should want to, then you've got space to pop a little tag in there. And then over on the back, same again. A little bit of glue here and a little bit of glue here. And that will be enough then to secure that in place. Okay. And there. That is the basic construction of your envelope. I like that. I think that's amazing. Oh, oh. missed a bit there, look. Here we are. Right, okay, so... What have we got left over? Well, we should have one, two, ah, there's the other one. So basically, I was saying earlier on about not having any waste. So what I did earlier with what I had left, I simply um, chose a side, because obviously mine's double-sided, so I quite like that side, actually. So I just simply glued it onto a book page, which is what I'm going to do with them now. See the purpose for which I've done this is because I wanted it back so that it would be a tag. Um, and then this one here, see the same. And this is just obviously to provide them with a bit of stability. Obviously, if you've done that with cardstock, you probably will need to do this. Um, I think we'll have that way out that way this time. There we go. And then um, I just obviously cut those out and I embellish them. So here then is my tag that I created from the scrap, which was actually that fold there, as you can see. And I've just put a little bit of coffee dye paper on there and that's obviously the book page. So that then fits quite nicely in there. And then um, the clusters, I've popped in my book. There you go, nice and simple. A little bit of fabric, button on the top. Now you can stitch these. I'm sure these would look lovely with some stitching on. Um, I haven't today because I thought it was nice to show that you don't need to stitch them. Because I know some of you do ask and say, do we need to stitch? Obviously for the closure, I just put a little label on the front and then left the top um, so that I can tuck it in. But yeah, that's it. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Obviously, if you need to go back over any of those steps, just hit rewind and play me again. Back and do it again, look. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you find that nice and simple. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any questions, just drop me a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave us a like. And if you haven't already subscribed, subscribe and hit the bell. Other than that, everyone have a great day. I'll be back very soon. Take care now. Bye.